Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi Sagittarius Fire Sign. Today I am going to do March monthly love reading. This is general, may or may not resonate to everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If you like my content, please do like the video guys. Then it will reach more people. And thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone wants a personal reading, comment me in comment box and it is chargeable. So let's see your message as Sagittarius, Fire Sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First we will see what happened in recent past. Then we will see the present. Sagittarius, Fire Sign, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see recent past. Present. Under the next strength, some of you are dealing with Leo, fire sign. Pisces, water sign. Leo, fire sign. So in recent past, lots of you, there was a new beginning. Because 10 of swords with queen of pentacles, you both started a new start in recent past. And you both made an important decision regarding this relationship. But I am seeing a new beginning in recent past. So let's clarify 10 of swords to get more clarity. Yeah, definitely you both started a new beginning or you both decided to start a new beginning. In recent past and judgment card definitely both got some realization you both got some clarity regarding this relationship and the present sun six of swords and the moon still you both have some differences uh, some confusion some trust issues so that's why you both want to talk with each other six of swords is all about fixing things with each other and the sun card uh, even though you both have some differences you both want this relationship because the sun card is here you both don't want to give up on this connection no matter what. And uh, the strength card, yes, you both know this connection has potential. And uh, Ace of Cups, definitely new beginning. You both love each other. Definitely love is there. But some misunderstandings. So let's see your personal current feelings and their true intentions. yeah you person definitely want a new beginning yeah right now maybe the connection foundation is really very very weak but you person ready for partnership ready for equal give and take they want to take this relationship to next level like marriage and commitment uh yeah ace of swords means clarity and they want success in this relationship and ace of wands means passionate new beginnings so your person is ready for a new beginning and ready for equal give and take and intentions the lovers with five of pentacles some of you are dealing with capricorn Virgo, taurus lot of earth energy some of you are dealing with gemini libra aquarius especially gemini yes for those who are in separation for those who are in on and off communication definitely your person is missing you a lot so they want clarity, they want commitment and they are ready to do anything for this relationship. But they want a passionate new beginning. They don't want this energy anymore. Five of pentacles. See how this person is feeling. So let's see your current feelings. 
Sagittarius, you are on your energy temperance. You have some trust issues regarding this person. You are having hard time to trust this person, literally. So some of you are dealing with Sagittarius, fire sign, or Voco, edge sign. You are just seeking justice. Some of you are dealing with Libra or Capricorn, edge sign. So right now you are just thinking. You are just spending some quality time with yourself and searching for the truth you're focusing inward rather than outward because the hermit energy is here and temperance means you are being very very patient here you are taking the control of your life into your ha your hands and you're controlling your feelings and emotions so let's see you post an next action Four of Wands, Five of Swords, and see whatever happened, happened. So now your person want a new start. So they are ready. They are ready to fight for this connection. They are ready to take this relationship to next level. And your person is ready for marriage or commitment because Four of Wands with Eight of Pentacles. I think this time they are damn honest on Sagittarius. Because they have deep regrets. Five of Swords energy. So let's clarify Five of Swords. And your person is feeling stuck. So let's see what is the near future outcome of this relationship. And what will happen in March. In March, there will be any upgrade or not, we will see. King of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Two of Wands. See, you both love each other. Yes, you both are ready to fight for this connection and you both want this relationship, but you both still not expressing your feelings. You both still not opening up with each other completely. Yes, communication. So let's clarify the outcome here. Lots of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's like Tom and Jerry relationship. You both want this relationship, but at the same time, one person is trying to walk away from this relationship. Very, very mixed feelings. Love each other, but at the same time, trying to detach emotionally. So in March, I'm seeing some up, up and downs uh, because uh, like emotional disturbances. So, be clear what you are thinking. But I am not seeing any ending here but some disturbances. So, let's see what is the advice for you regarding this relationship or situation. See, the Emperor and Four of Pentacles. You both are not expressing. You both are not uh, uh, opening up with each other. That is the main blockage what I am getting here. So, uh, if you both don't want any uh, obstacles in this relationship, try to open up with each other completely in March especially. 
then you will see some positive result so this is the reading for you guys hope it resonates to you please do share like and subscribe my channel and click the bell icon then you will get all my video notifications thank you so much for watching and supporting me please do share like and subscribe thank you